guys. Today we're going to make a hippo craft. The original directions say to use paper plates and paint. I don't have paint. So I have construction paper. You can use whatever you have at the house. You're going to need two gray circles. There's one gray circle. Another gray circle. You're going to need a pink circle. You're going to need some eyes, some nostrils, some big teeth, some little teeth, and some little hippo ears. So the first step is we need to cut out our two gray circles and our pink circle. So I'm going to use my trusty scissors and start cutting out my circles. Now the directions say to trim a little bit off the edges. I have all three of my circles together to make them more like an oval. So I'm going to peel it off of this side. See, kind of flat there. And a little off of this side. Because hippo's heads aren't very round, they're kind of more like a rectangle. Let's see. All right, so but now we're going to start putting them together. One of my gray shapes and my pink shape, I'm going to glue them together. What you could also do is paint one side your paint, your plate pink, the other side gray, or use markers or crayons or whatever you have at the house that you can use. Now it's gray on one side pink on the inside. There's his mouth. I did fold it in half afterwards because that, this is going to be his jaw, his mouth. Make sure the pink's on the inside. And on some of them, sometimes you'll notice that the hippos have the little whisker spots on their face. You can add this. I'll add that to mine now. The little whisker spots. And I'm going to put his nostrils on now. You can draw those on, but I'm going to use some white paper Cut it out and glue it on. There's his little nostrils. Why are the nostrils so high up? Where do hippos go? In the water a lot. You have to have those nostrils way high up so they don't, so they can breathe. Next, I'm going to put some teeth in. Hippos are very dangerous. They like to eat meat. So, I'm going to put the teeth in. If you ever see a real hippo, stay away. There's our hippo's bottom teeth. They're a little bit smaller. But if you think about your teeth, your bigger teeth are up top. So I'm going to put two bigger teeth up top in just a second. And there we have the big top teeth. Okay, well, we've got teeth. We've got his little snout, where his nose is. He needs the rest of his head. That's where our other gray part comes in. And here it is. We're going to make it go right here. But what does it need? It needs some eyes. It needs some ears. So, and if you guys look, I'm going to match up the bottom part of the head with the bottom part of the mouth. But first, I'm going to put his eyes and ears on. So I'll be right back. And there's the hippo's eyes. I just drew them on white paper and put the black dots in the middle. And the ears, just gray paper. And there's our hippo. This one looks pretty happy. So maybe you could read a story with your hippo. My favorite hippo story is, but not, The Hippopotamus by Slumber Boyton. Or you could play hungry, hungry hippos with him. Just don't let him really eat the marbles. I don't think they'd go very far. Have a great day, guys. Bye.